This is just going to be a short video. I wanted to happily announce a new series on my channel, Mama Foxy. And it's going to be Alpha Sapphire Clone Lock. I really just wanted to go over the rules in this episode and then I will be um, rolling for my random number to see which Pokemon we're going to have to play with this whole series. So first, let me start off by saying thank you to every one of you who has been subscribed to my channel, you know, since the beginning, who likes my videos and comments. If you're new, please don't forget to drop that subscription or a like if you like the idea of this clone lock. And I'm just going to get started with the rules here. So I'm going to be playing Alpha Sapphire and it is going to be randomized, but I'm going to be playing a clone lock challenge. This is not something I made up, I actually did find it on Google, but I didn't find a lot of videos behind it, so I really did kind of make my own rules in a sense. It will be a nuzzle lock, that's why it's called a clone lock, so the normal nuzzle lock rules requi are required, which I will post on the screen here. How the clone lock works though is essentially you can only use the Pokemon that you, you're only able to use the Pokemon that you roll your number for. So for example, if I get a one, then I get to use Bulbasaur throughout the whole clone lock, throughout the whole series. If that Bulbasaur dies, he's dead, but I may have other Bulbasaurs in my team to be able to use. So I'm going to read the rules real quick. Um, you can only use the Pokemon that you originally rolled for. You may use the whole evolutionary line if said cloned Pokemon has one. So again, if it was a Bulbasaur, I could use Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. Um, but if it was something like a shuckle, I can only use shuckle. That'd be kind of hard. Um, and then you've got, I kind of made this one up because I was trying to figure out how to, how to kind of gain more encounters, how to get more clone Pokemon. So how I'm going to make this work is anytime you defeat a gym or defeat your rival, you will be able to add your clone, another clone Pokemon to your team. So in this game, for example, you'll start out with a clone Pokemon, Bulbasaur for example, and then you go up to the next route where you battle May the first time, and that will give you a second encounter with Bulbasaur to, to be able to catch and add to your team. Then you beat the first gym leader and that'll be a third, but if you lose one, he's gone and you have to wait till you beat the next gym or rival battle to gain another one. I also put if you succeed in catching a static Pokemon encounter, you can trade it for another clone encounter. So if I do successfully capture the randomized um, primal Kyogre, then I will, won't be able to keep him, but I'll be able to release him and get another encounter for my Bulbasaur. And then again, the normal Nazarok rules, if the Pokemon faints, it's dead. Um, and then you must name nickname any, any Pokemon in your team. So each of my Bulbasaurs will get a unique name. So that's pretty much it. Really, you can just use the same Pokemon uh, that you rolled for throughout the whole game, and then you can gain more encounters by beating gyms and rivals. Nothing too fancy, but I thought it would be kind of fun, especially depending on what we rolled on. So let's move on over to rolling for our number. And here we are. I had to test it first. So I Googled, because I love Google, um, how many Pokemon Alpha Sapphire has. So it has 719. I'm not going to include legendary, so if we do roll a legendary, I will not be including that in this here. Wow, my face is really bright. I'm so sorry. Um, I will not be including any legendaries. It just seems like really overkill. And um, so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this generate button and it's going to generate the number and then we'll see what Pokemon we get. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm hyped. I've been waiting so long to do this. One, two, three. 323. So let me look that up. A camera rut. We're gonna go through this whole game with the camera up line. I think, I think I can dig that. I think that that'll be okay. I feel like camera up is totally a gen three uh, heart stamp. You know, he is he can be pretty OP. I feel like a few of the guys um, in the actual game use him because he's stronger. 
I think Flannery's the one that uses him as well. I've never used Kemrit before though, so this will be pretty interesting. He's, uh, I believe he was a rock ground, right? Fire ground. A rock ground, that makes sense. He was a fire ground, so that's pretty good. Man, I, I'm, I'm stoked. This will be exciting. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right, and there we have it, guys. I should have the very first episode up tomorrow. So it looks like me and Camera Up are going to be best friends. We're going to rock it through this game together. Him and his rocky fireness. Roundy fireness. <laughs> well, I hope you're excited as I am. I'm super stoked to try this out. I mean, it's a little different than your normal Nuzlocke randomizer. So if you if it sounds like you're going to enjoy it, let me know. Let me know if you have any feedback down below. Any new rules maybe I can add. But other than that, guys, I will see you tomorrow with the very first episode. Thank you so much for watching.